In my first season here, uh, I was the new artistic director of Dance Kaleidoscope. And I knew that I wanted to do something that was big and beautiful and opulent. And I wanted to have some, a wow factor. And so I thought, okay, let's do Shahrazad. Let's, uh, let's make something really exotic and beautiful. After I finished all of the PT and got through the Beatles show, the last show, I was like, all right, I'm at 100% again. Um, I, we had a two week break and so I actually took that break and I didn't dance because rest is important. And then when I got back, I talked to Andrea and made a plan to do cardio more consistently. She'd give me specific exercises and also just she would manipulate my foot and make sure that all the joints were moving the way that it was supposed to. I typically try to get them to before the show, um, get anything out, you know, check my hip, you know, see if there's any, if I have anything like that sore, hopefully get that rubbed out, you know, or, you know, get, or if there's something bothering me, get an exercise that I can do right before I go on. For this show in particular, the costumes are really complex. They're very complicated. They're hard to put on, get off, and we have a lot of really fast changes. There's a lot happening backstage that the audience has no idea is happening, and then we just appear on the stage in whatever costume is appropriate. To the average person coming in, I think they're gonna experience how, especially with the music of how like grand this show is. It's very meaningful. In fact, I chose it specifically to go out on. I think it's gonna be very emotional that uh, it's the last thing that the Indianapolis audience will see of mine. Because it's my live show, I think it's a lot of it has a certain kind of meaning for me that is that wouldn't be necessarily be the same if it was just a regular show. Because it's my last show, um, I'm treasuring all the moments that I have with the dancers.